Oh shit, it's you again. Well, while you're here, might as well take a little break and get ready for the sixth episode of What the Fuck Did Sir Sturdy Just Watch? <laughs> you gotta tune in to find out. <laughs> Well, 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 I guess you decided to stick around for number six of what the fuck did Sir Sturdy just watch? Now, as you guys can see behind me, these are the movies. With friends like these, Pet Graveyard, and Dead Hooker in a Trunk. Now, I'm just going to start. I'm going to get right into this shit. I'm getting into the shits. Just be ready. Be ready. Because I'm ready. I'll start with this movie. The best thing about this movie is the Pontiac. That is the best fucking thing about this movie. The Pontiac Firebird. Hands down the best thing. Other than that, the movie sucked. I wasn't a fan of it. Um, it was just... It was boring to me. I mean, it had its parts, it had its gore and all that stuff, and its little action here and there, but still, it just didn't... This movie didn't do it for me at all. Car and a cool horse. I'll say that. Car and a cool horse. Um, Pet Graveyard? Again, it didn't do it for me. It sucked. I was very, very disappointed in it. I was hoping it would... Uh, <clears throat> be like a pet graveyard type of movie. Even if it was like a ripoff of Pet Cemetery ish But I mean, more so of... I mean, you see, you do see this cat in the movie, but it'd be cool if you've seen that a lot more. Um, just more evilness, maybe evil animals or something that are coming back for whatever reason to maybe go after their old owners, maybe years down the line or something. I don't know. They could have did so much better with this movie. It wasn't that. Uh, it was tough to hold my attention. It was boring. Same with this. It was kind of tough to hold my attention. It was just, eh. Again, awesome car. Awesome fucking horse. And they were just... I feel like the movies felt rushed. I really do. And I'll give this one some slack. I believe it was done on like a $2,500 budget. I don't know how true that is. I've read that somewhere earlier. But still, awesome car. I don't even know if it was done on a $2,500 budget, though. Who, who would $2,500? No, I, I don't know. It could have. It was low budget, though. So maybe it was. Maybe they own the car or something. They have a friend that owned the car. It was in the movie. Who knows? Anyway, this one, too. I just... I just couldn't with them. Like I had them on and I'm just like, oh man, it's it's rough. It's a rough, rough, rough watch. And I was disappointed. And these were the second and third movies that I watched today. These are the last two. And I'm thinking like, you know what? Maybe it can end it good. But no, I ended it bad. I should have watched these two movies first. I should have watched either one of these two movies first. Meaning this one or this one. And then... Save the best for last. Now, this right here was fucking amazing. And the reason, the way I came across is this one. These I've seen in, like, other horror groups and shit. I actually have this one on DVD or Blu-ray or something, which I'm going to throw. I'm sorry, people. I hope whoever gets this likes it, but I'm going to throw this in the Surf 30 Mystery Box because I do not like this movie. I just like the car. Um, This one right here. is uh gem shout out to eric bindle because i found it because of him i i can't even say i found it because of him i didn't even know it existed until he posted it in the horrorholics group 
awesome Facebook group, by the way. You guys should go check that out. Also an awesome podcast, which they do on YouTube, live on YouTube, which is dope. Check that out. They do it on Saturdays. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, he posted this gem in the group, and I was like, you know what? Let me check this movie out. And I fucking loved it. It's an anthology, and I love the first two stories. And this one, I actually want to do a podcast on. I really do. I loved it. I thought it was a really fun, fun fucking um, <clears throat> anthology. Three stories. The first two stories were definitely the best out of the three. The third one was weaker, but it wasn't horrible. So, yeah, definitely. I highly recommend this movie. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And, I mean, it was it was a fun watch. It was an entertaining watch. Again, this, I, would, I love anthologies, so this I would probably watch outside of the podcast, but I do want to do a podcast on it. These two, I hope to never see these two fucking movies again. Um, <clears throat> what else can I say about these two fucking movies? This one I've seen before, so this won't make my bottom 10 list. This is definitely going on there. No questions asked. And this may make my top 10. I'm not sure yet. It may make my top 10 of you know movies I've seen for the first time this year in 2020. doesn't matter what year the movie came out. But yeah, this one was a great... It was a really good anthology. I really, really freaking enjoyed it. Again, these two, fuck them both. Middle fingers to them both. Fuck them. I don't like them. Just the car and the horse. Cool cat. What can I say? I don't even think titties would have saved these two movies. They were just that bad. I, I'm done with those two. I'm done with those two. I'm done. I'm done. Throw them away. Now it's time to do the covers. <laughs> and the funny thing is, this cover I do enjoy. Actually, I think it's a really cool cover. But I feel this is probably... No, you know what? Fuck that. I'll give it to this one. I think this is the best cover. Because of the car. I, if you know me, you know I love, love muscle cars, especially the old ones. And this right here is a beauty. Second, I have to give it to this. This is a dope cover. It is a really dope cover. And this, I do enjoy the cover, but I just feel like these two are better. But this is a way, way, way better fucking movie than both of these combined. So, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this actually does get the Sir Sturdy stamp of approval for the movie. And I'll even throw it for the cover. Throw it in for the cover there. I couldn't find a cover of just this here. Like, I only found this with the whole DVD shit and all that on there. These two covers, they get the Sir Sturdy stamp of approval for covers, but for movies, no, they don't get that. They get the fucking... <laughs> garbage level the blood leg levels they're close to that level again this can't make the list because I've seen it before this is going to be on the list the bad list good list now real quick I have a Facebook group Horror with Sir Sturdy feel free to join the group and post anything and everything horror related including your own projects YouTube channels Gaming, you know, your Twitch channels, independent horror movies, horror shorts, as long as it's horror related, memes, pictures, again, videos, anything horror related is welcome. Other than that, it will be deleted. I have a Horror Research 30 Facebook page that is for the podcast, that's for updates, and just random stuff that's about Sir Sturdy himself, which is me. If it's horror related and I'm involved with it, I'll post it in the page on the page. Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> YouTube, where all you beautiful watchers and YouTube fans are watching, tell more people about it so I can get more fans and you know get these videos out there more for your guys' entertainment. And for my entertainment, because I love doing this and I love watching myself. I don't know if that makes me an artist or not, but hey, whatever. So yeah, YouTube, Horror with Sir Sturdy. 
I have a shit ton of content out there for you guys to watch and listen to. There'll be a shit ton more coming out for you guys to watch and listen to. And again, I did not post a podcast today. I'm going to skip today and go to Tuesday. I'm going to start dropping my podcast videos at 9 p.m. Eastern time. They will be uploaded. It'll be a premiere like this video. It'll be a premiere at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. These videos here, when I do them, Monday through Fridays will be a premiere at 8. Anything in between, I'm not sure. We'll just see what happens. Um, the audio for the podcast will still be coming out at midnight, Tuesdays and Thursdays. That'll still be coming out midnight, Tuesday, Thursday. But the video, again, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Twitch. Like I said yesterday, I'm saying again today, and I'll probably say tomorrow. There is a pretty good possibility I will be streaming on Twitch Sunday. So please, please, please stay tuned, which that will be posted where? You guessed it. The Horror Research 30 Facebook page is where the updates will go for that. Hey, I'm going to be twitching at such and such a time. This is the game, da-da-da. Boom, it'll be on the page. So if you want to be able to follow that, join the page. Like the page. If you ever want to be... Oh, real quick, back to my audio. iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, Stitcher, and anywhere else you can listen to podcasts, you should be able to hear my podcast, Horror with Sir Sturdy. And lastly, if you ever, ever, ever want to be a guest on this show, shoot me an email, horrorwithsir.sturdy. Again, that's horrorwithsir.sturdy. I'll say it one last time for the people in the back, the people on the left, the people on the right, people in the front as well. Horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. As always, I'll see you in your nightmares. And yes, I got some vodka. I got some vodka. I, 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 I got some vodka. <sighs> Excuse me. Drink some, bitches.